So our retro, we got a Jeremy Swayman. Our marquee, well, I'm gonna take that back. Our 2023 All Stars here, we got Logan Thompson. Um, let's see. Ultimate pack cracking. All right, what's up, guys? So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different from the hockey world. So just released here on January 24th this year, we have the Opeachy Hobby Boxes available. This is a upper deck product. Um, but uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty cool brand. A lot of these cards, um, they have English and French on them, which is a little bit different. And a lot of these look a little bit more retro uh, that you'll see here in a minute, but um, a lot of cool different inserts you can get on here. One of the main draws that, uh, well, the reason I'm kind of opening these is gonna be because these are the first ones you're gonna be able to see Connor Bedard actually in his Chicago gear. Uh, I know we tried for it on some of the artifacts videos, um, that I also have on my channel, but uh, unfortunately no success there. So figured we'd take a crack at these and see if we can't uh, come up with one of his cards from here. Um, there's various different ways that you can find uh, cards within here as far as what's available. So a lot of different types of parallels available. So a lot of these are gonna be numbered cards. So there's uh, different colors from red, blue, and purple. Um, they even offer different pl printing plates that you can get, or which are basically one of ones that were used in the manufacturing of this uh, particular hobby box, which is pretty cool. They also have some uh, retro cards in here um, that are numbered to 100. You can also find some different foils that are a little bit high numbered, but still uh, pretty cool to find. They even have uh, trading cards that are available in here. So it honestly looks just like a deck of cards where it's numbered from like, you know, two all the way up to aces. But some of the uh, harder to find stuff are going to be like the uh, Jacks through the Kings, the Aces, the Jokers, those types of cards there. Um, they even have uh, some of their rookie parallels in here that are called Marquee. Um, they're a little bit harder to find um, with the 3D versions. There's only like one out of 864 different packs, but pretty big set overall. It's about 500 base cards, 100 different uh, all-star slash marquee rookies in this case. And uh, there's even some other kind of off the wall parallels that you can get with here as well. They're gonna have some different patches within this particular uh, card here that are kind of made specifically for this set. And then they even have a bounty program, kind of like uh, Artifacts has, where there's redemption codes and things, but there's nine total cards you'd have to get to actually make a puzzle, and then you can redeem that for other types of cool things from the set too. So, But yeah, a little bit uh, of everything within this particular set here. Um, breakdown in a hobby box is basically you're going to get probably one rare chase card, three numbered base or retro cards, one red card, probably six blue, 18 different retro versions, probably four playing cards and three other particular premium inserts. So obviously we're pretty much looking for Bedard in here. Um, he's gonna be the most valuable out of these particular sets that are here. So let's see if we can't find uh, one of his. So let's get into these. So this is what it looks like when it's all opened up here. So we got lots of packs in here. Um, so the breakdown on there is you're going to have basically 10 cards in a pack, 18 packs in a box, and if you were to buy a case of these things for some reason, uh, 16 boxes in a case. So a lot to work with there. So let's see what we can find. Should be a little bit of everything. These should be kind of, they almost look kind of old timey because of like, even like the card stock they use on these, I swear it's like they did it intentionally to make it look like it's from like the 70s or the 80s back when like the junk wax era. but. Let's see what we can come up with out of here. So I don't know as far as the thickness on a lot of these cards though. It looks like most of them are gonna be like just your 35 point, but let's see if there's anything thicker in here. So um, nothing too glossy on these here. It looks got kind of like a lot of them got like a matte finish on here, but, uh, but yeah, Mark Rossi, a lot of base cards. Looks like we're coming up to one of the inserts here already. So this is gonna be one of the premier cards um, for Clayton Keller here from the Coyotes. So let's see if this is a, uh, doesn't look like it's one of the numbered ones, but uh, first one of our little like kind of off the wall things that we've seen. So interesting card. Um, here's one of the all-star cards here. Um, it's interesting because you can see obviously the English and the French on all these, which is kind of fun. Here is one of the one of the retro cards here. So this is just on the regular brown. There are some alternative ones that are numbered that are gonna be on the black as well. So as you can say, like the back, it looks like, you know, like this <laughs> card looks like it's like 30 years old or something just because it looks like it's uh, like faded, but uh, done intentionally in this case. So, but yeah, rookie goaltender. So not bad there. 
And then the rest they're gonna be, they're gonna give you quite a bit of base cards. So I'll just kind of keep these separate so at the end we can do a little bit of a recap here. But uh, overall, a um, little bit of everything in the first pack. Still looking for something a little bit more off the wall or numbered or something though. So let's see. All right, let's get into another pack here. Once again, got uh, Adam Ernie. You haven't seen him yet this year. All right. Oh, so here's one of the playing cards here. So this is up to number 10. Um, so you can kind of see on the back that you can actually make like a whole deck out of these things, <laughs> which is going to be kind of interesting. But I don't know if I'll have enough here. I'll hit enough of these to actually make an entire deck. But it is kind of cool to see that you can actually like turn actual trading cards into playing cards, which is interesting. So that's kind of funny. Another marquee rookie here from Logan Cooley on the back here. Not bad. And then we have another one of the retros with Darnell Nurse. And then, of course, the remaining base cards. So, let's see. All right. Ooh, it looks like we might have a blue one in here. So, let's see who we get this time. So, our marquee rookie on this one, Artislavos. And then we got a Paul Stat Snatsy. Snats. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Snats knee. Um, and then we have in uh, Lincoln in on the uh, on the retro. So and of course the rest of the base, but uh, for some reason I don't know how to talk right now, but pretty sharp there. So that's our first uh, blue one we've got. So according to the way there's normally a breakdown, we should be pull about six of that particular color out of this box, but let's see. Uh, we can't maybe get a Bedard on that one. So quite a bit of base cards, obviously, but you're getting probably about like three different types of inserts per uh, pack here. So, I mean, at least there's a little bit of something on every single one. Oh, we got something a little bit different in here. That looks like it can be one of the 3D cards. So Jack Campbell, let's start with our work away from the back here. So let's get rid of all the base. So our retro, we got a Jeremy Swayman. Our marquee, oh, I'm going to take that back, our 2023 All-Stars here, we got Logan Thompson. Um, let's see what we got here. Wow, that's pretty sharp looking. Um, it might not come through on the camera like that, but definitely 3D. Um, these do appear to be a little bit thicker just because they have like that uh, 3D layer on top. But um, yeah, Devin Levy, or Levi, here on uh, the marquee rookie in the... Uh, Almost looks like holographic for the first part, but yeah, de definitely three dimensional. That's pretty cool. So um, yeah, not bad. That's our first one of these we've got, so that's cool. So just to circle back on this, I mean, um, this is one of the harder to find types of cards that's in the entire set here. I mean, you only find one of these types of cards in probably one out of 864 packs on average. So the fact we were able to pull one of these uh, 3D cards, I mean, that uh, hopefully that bodes well for the rest of this box and the next box, but let's see. So getting into the next pack here, we're only about maybe a third of the way through this box, so there are a lot of packs in here, so we still got lots of opportunity to find something a little bit better. Okay, so we got a purple here. It looks like it's a wing too, all right. Okay, marquee rookie of Billy Sweezy. And let's get rid of all the back cards. So our retro, Mark Giordano. And then we got the, uh, let's see here. We got Simon Edvinson on the purple. So that is probably going to be, I don't even know. It might uh, be our only purple out of the box, but we'll see here. I mean, it's a Red Wing, so that's cool. He hasn't had an incredible amount of playing time yet, uh, but uh, overall they have uh, high hopes for this guy. So that's great. All right. Next pack here. Looks like we got a blue in here. So for the 2023 All-Star card, we got Nick Suzuki. On the back end here, we got Jacob Slavin. And then on here, we have Cole Gutman. So we were close. It's a Blackhawk, but not the Blackhawk we're looking for here. So um, still, I'll take it. Good card, but uh, let's keep going. All righty. Another blue, it looks like. So we got the Copenin on the Marquee. We got a Michael Amadio, and then we got a Ryan O'Reilly on the blue here. So blue with the Leafs, that looks pretty good. 
Um, good color for that. Okay. Looks like we might have a red in this one here. So Dustin Wolf on the marquee rookie. Cole McCarr. There we go. That's not a bad one. And then on the back end, we're going to have a Max Domi on the retro. So nice. I got to say, I think that's our only red that we're going to pull probably out of the entire box. So that's a good player to pick, though. Not bad. Okay, still looking for Bedard. Well, I think we might have our trading card in this one. Let's see. Ooh, a Joker. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> this is another really hard to find card here as well. So this looks like it's a Kraken one. Um, so Buddy, I'm guessing this is who their mascot is. But uh, I mean, according to what I've looked up on this, finding a Joker is like one out of every 203 packs. So once again, we were a little bit lucky with this, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting card there. But uh, wow, all right, cool. And then let's see, we got another all-star card of Andrea Shnetchikov. And then we have a Rasmus Dahlin on the retro here with a little bit of a scowl going on. <laughs> and then of course the rest of the base cards. But uh, wow, we pulled some uh, decent stuff here that uh, is a little harder to find sometimes. So that's kind of cool. I guess I should keep better track with, uh, I don't think they're gonna put like a regular Bedard base card in here, but uh, I just kind of been fast forwarding through that. So make sure we don't skip it. Now we got a little bit of a refractor here coming up, so a couple of more. I got a Dylan Lark in there. Oh, we got a checklist, nice. I think these are a little bit harder to come by as well here, so that's kind of cool. Just like the old school. And then we got a Ridley Grieg on the uh, marquee rookie on the green on the parallel here on the refractor, so that is pretty sharp. Um, yeah, and he's having a pretty good year, so not bad. And then they get a Jacob Markstrom here on the uh, retro. So, I mean, we've been pulling some pretty decent stuff. We're only about halfway through this box too. So, I mean, I'm interested to see what else comes up. All right, we got a Connor McDavid here on the end, but got another blue coming up. Oop. Let's see here. So we got a Matthew Kachuk on the all-star card. We got a Kaprizov here and looks like the corner might be a little dinged up. Um, on the blue, and then we have a Tristan Jari here on the retro. And the rest of these here. All right, and Connor McDavid on the end. Huh? Not bad. Okay, so this is about the second, third here of the uh, box we're about to be done. So we got Stamkos, Mercier, Colton. We got another little. Ooh, this is kind of fun. Uh, a premiere here with uh, Mark Andre Fleury, the journeyman of the NHL, who's been on I don't even know how many teams now, but that's pretty sharp with the foil and the double color going on. Got a another marquee rookie here, and then we have Hampus Lindholm on the other retro. So yeah, not bad. We've been pulling some interesting things. I gotta say, I'm not sure as like how valuable a lot of these are, but I mean, still they're pretty cool to look at, especially with the retros and throwing in even the trading card part in here. All right, coming into the home stretch here, last third of this box. Oh, we got something a little different in here too. Uh, let's see. Base, base. We got a retro here of the devil. Got another blue of Adam Fox. Got a Johnny Gaudreau on the uh, All-Star. And I got a couple base. And who do we have here? Ooh, Austin Matthews on a Platinum. That is pretty sharp. I gotta say, I don't remember reading much about this particular card um, that you could pull, but let's see. It says preview, so I'm not sure what they mean by that. I have a feeling that means it's good, but um, especially a very sought after player with them being a maple leaf here, but um, that is pretty sharp. So hopefully that is a good thing. Um, but yeah, very cool card. So that one I'm probably gonna get a sleeve on right away because I have a feeling <laughs> this one is uh, a good one. 
So I gotta say, this box has not disappointed so far. I mean, obviously still looking for the, you know, Connor Bedard here, but uh, still we've been pulling some pretty interesting stuff. All right, we got ourselves another trading card here. We got a four of clubs, which is Kyle Connor here from the Jets. So that's cool. Marquee rookie of Yaroslav Askarov. And then we have a, obviously Russian it looks like, uh, rookie here on the retro. So still haven't pulled a black retro, but um, we've been, obviously you get one of these in every pack, but just haven't got a black one yet. So we'll, we're working on it. Okay. Something else a little bit uh, different color here. So man, a lot of Blackhawks, just not bedard. Got a premiere here of uh, Ilya Sorokin from the Islanders, that's cool. And we got an all-star here of um, one of the blues, and then we got one of the, Alexander Weinberg on the retro. All right, three packs to go here on this box. Got another blue, it looks like. Oh, another Edmondson uh, that we got here from the from uh, the Wings on the uh, Marquee Rookie. Uh, Jake DeBrusque on the blue parallel. And then we got a Cole, uh, Blake Coleman here on the uh, regular retro here. So second to last pack here. All right, another trading card looks like. Oh, Brad Marchand. Uh, the Nine of Hearts, once again, pretty cool. Another rookie here, we got a Luke Hughes, that's not bad. And then we got a Matthew Benning here on the retro. Okay, last pack here. Jonathan Tay, oh, we got a black retro in this one, okay, cool. And the All-Stars here, Nathan McKinnon. Got a Kirill Kaprizov, that's not bad, on the black. And then we have, they give you two of them basically. So you got a regular and a black. And the, Alice, the Wade Allison here as well. So, not bad. Man, all these Blackhawks, but not the one I'm looking for. All right, well that's gonna do it for box one. Let's see what box two has in store here. All right, second box. Looks like we got a colored one right off the bat here. All right, Matthew, I'm uh, sorry, Michael Bunting on the Premier. Uh, we got another Ranger here on the Rookie, and then we got a Sidney Crosby, all right, on the Retro there, so that's cool. Not bad for a first pack. Okay, looks like we got another Premier in here. Let's see, so Dylan Strong. On the marquee, we got Bobby McCann, and on the retro, uh, Roman Josie. All right. Okay. I think this is a blue. Let's see. Adam Fantilli on the marquee. I got a Connor McDavid here on the blue for the all-star card. And then we got a Sean, is it Corrali? Corrali? On the uh, retro, not bad. Trading card in here, looks like. So who do we got? Quinn Hughes, uh, the three of diamonds here. So not too bad. Let's see, Andrew Vasileski on the all-star one, and then a Kyle Oposo on the retro. All right, still looking for something pretty big out of this box. We're about a third of the way through it. Okay, so here comes our purple. So on the marquee, we got Luke Evangelista. Martin Neckis, I think that's how you say it, on the purple here, and then we got a Rupe Hints on the retro. So I noticed this earlier, um, well I didn't on the video when I first saw it, but I'm so used to seeing numbers on the front of the cards when they're numbered, but on these they do them on the back. So on the purple here, this one's 17 to 49, so there's only 49 of any of the purples here. So that is pretty cool. So I mean, if, you're, if you ever open up any of these, just know they're on the back. 
<laughs> so. Okay. Got a blue this time. So on the all star, we got Troy Terry, Samuel Gerard on the blue, and then we got a Vince Dunn here on the retro. Okay, looks like we might have a black one in here. Come on, Bedard. So Leon Dreisaitl here on the all-star card. Ooh, a Sidney Crosby on a black though, that's not bad. And then a Mason Merchant. So let's see what number we got here. Uh, 61 out of 100, so not bad. So at least you know it's uh, a little bit more rare. Good player, obviously, but um, yeah, in this case it would be a little bit more beneficial in this case to be a rookie, but still, I will take that. And then, yeah, just the rest of the base cards here. Got an Ovi in there too, on a base. Okay. Still looking for like one of the, uh, you know, the rare chase cards here. So we got another blue one coming up. Uh, let's see, on the marquee, we got Joe Teasdale. Joel Teasdale. Um, not sure how to say that, but guy from the Panthers on the blue. And then we have Andrew Peak on the retro. Okay, so we're still looking for what? We haven't hit our red one yet. And we haven't hit, um, like I, I guess, our big card out of this particular box yet. So let's see. So we have uh, Cole McCarr here on the Premier, Adam Ginning on the marquee and then we have the joel armia here on the retro okay this looks like it's going to be our red one this time so jason robertson and then we have let's see victor oreo on the red and then a ryan pollock here on the retro Okay, got a blue in here. Got the marquee of Frazier Minton on the Leafs. Kevin Hayes on the blue, and then Nicholas Haig here on the retro. Man. Still no Bedard. Okay, another playing card in here. So we got Jonathan Huberdeau on the eight of clubs. Got a Nazem Kadri here on the all-stars. And then we have a Riley Grieg here on the rookie retro. Okay. All right, getting into the last third of the box now. So still hoping for something real, real big, but let's see. Now looks like another trading card in this one. Let's see. Got a guy out of the five of clubs here. We've got an Aiden McDonough from the Canucks. And then we got a Charlie Coyle here on the retro. All right, got a blue. All right, we got a Dylan Larkin here on the all-star card. Mason Appleton here on the blue, and then we got a uh, you know, the Sharks goalie here. I don't want to try to pronounce his name wrong, but on the retro. All right, looking for something big, looking for something big. This one feels kind of different. We got something thick in this one. Oh, Mike, maybe this is it. Let's see. Base, base, our right, we'll work backwards. So we got Zach Hyman on the retro. Um, let's see, Marky, rookie here of uh, Devin Levi. And then we have a trophy winner. Ooh, we got a patch card, wow. All right, so we got a Lady Bing trophy, and it's, honestly, this feels like, I don't know, that's like, almost like a little like mat that they have in there. Uh, Joe Mullen here from the Flames winning the Lady Bing here. Let's see on the back. Wow. It's not numbered, but uh, yeah, he won this, what, 86, 87. Um, he got it in French too, which is fun. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit of thicker stock on these particular cards here, as you can kind of tell. Um, but the 
front is very slick. I gotta say it's cut really well. Um, but yeah, this is like one of their little inserts that they were talking about here. So this is probably our big hit from the box because we only got three, uh, three packs left to go here. But uh, yeah, this is something different. We haven't pulled one of these yet, so that's cool. All right, three packs to go here. Oh, something shiny, something shiny. Looks like it's a Bruin. Matthew Kachuk. So, India Sorokin on the All-Stars here. Got Brandon Carlo on the Retro. And Matthew, is it Poitras? on the, I want to say like the refractor foil version of the marquee rookie. So let's see if this one's numbered here. Um, yeah, 174 out of 350. So not bad, numbered card, cool. Pretty sharp too. All right, second to last pack here. We got a blue, uh, Colin Blackwell. Got a Brock Faber on the marquee, Boone Jenner on the blue, and a Danton Heinen here on the retro. All right, last pack, guys. Uh, let's hope for let's hope for some sort of a Bedard in here since uh, he has not shown up yet. Let's see. So we got a trading card here. So Vasilevsky here on the Eight of Spades. Marquee rookie of Milos Kellerman. And then, oh, so close. Uh, it's a different Blackhawk. So we got a Luke Philp here on the Retro Rookie. But uh, yeah, no Bedard, unfortunately, but yeah, we did pull some pretty cool stuff, so let's do a quick recap out of the two boxes here. All right, guys, so we pulled quite a bit of everything out of these two boxes here, so obviously we got a bunch of retro uh, cards out of here, rookies and, and the like, and then we also got quite a few of the marquee rookies. I won't bore you with all those since a lot of those aren't numbered or special or anything like that, but we did pull a few different of the trading cards here. So obviously not enough to make a whole deck yet, but uh, it's pretty cool that uh, we got some of those. That's kind of an interesting idea that they can do with some of the stuff. Um, I think we got, what, 12 different uh, blue parallels here on, the, uh, on those. And then we ended up pulling two of the red. So, you know, not too bad there. I got one out of each box, essentially, like they are saying. We had got, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different Premier cards. So obviously these ones have a little bit more foil to them than some of the traditional uh, ones here in the set, so not too bad. And then some of the kind of like off the wall stuff, um, we pulled a checklist, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, it's basically just the cards from 500 to 600 it looks like. Um, so obviously probably not the entire set, but uh, still kind of funny to see these. I remember getting these like back in the 90s in packs and stuff. Then we pulled our 3D marquee rookie here of uh, Devin Levi on the uh, Sabres. So that's a pretty sharp looking card. And then getting into some more of the uh, interesting stuff. Obviously we pulled the, uh, the patch card here. Uh, for the trophy winners for Joe Mullen, which was kind of cool. Um, just something a little bit different than uh, anything else we got out of the two different boxes. And then getting into some of the numbered cards here. So we had the marquee rookie of uh, Matthew Poitras, um, who's gonna be the 174 out of 350. We had the retro black rookie of the Sidney Crosby, which is 61 out of 100. Um, we got two different purple ones. Um, Simon Edvinson, which is going to be number 27 of 49. Martin Neckes, um, which is 17 of 49. And then we're going to have uh, another black of the retro with uh, Keepersoff. Um, 76 out of 100. And then we got a green of the Ridley Gregg here, um, which is 18 of 33. So that's probably our lowest numbered card there. 
And then we did pull this guy as well here. So I'm not sure what to make of this. I know this is one of their like chase cards in here, um, insert wise and everything, but the fact that it says like preview, I'm gonna have to look some stuff up on this to find some more information, but uh, it is pretty cool looking. Um, it says uh, platinum up here in the corner. It's not numbered or anything like that, but um, overall pretty slick looking. So hopefully, maybe this is our biggest hit out of the two boxes, I'm not sure. But uh, overall, I mean, for what these are going for, I mean, obviously anything with Bedard, they've raised the price on everything that uh, could potentially have him in these boxes. So unfortunately we didn't find one of his cards. But at the same time, I'd say like overall we did okay. We got a couple different, uh, you know, what, six different numbered cards plus a trophy winner and then whatever this is. So yeah, I might do a little bit more of these here, but uh, you know, if you end up finding something a little bit better or have any more information on these, feel free to leave it in the comments on the cards there, but on, on, the, on the video. But uh, I will continue to post stuff like this, keep you guys in the loop on, uh, you know, trying to find still hunting down Bedard here. But uh, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like on the video. And uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, we'd sure appreciate it. Then you can see more stuff like this and watch it when we finally actually track that guy down. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Ultimate Pack Kraken.